So thank you to Professor Burt for that kind introduction and thank you to the Brain Foundation. Uh, it sponsors the donors, committee members and staff for awarding me this research gift. I'm extremely grateful. So I'm a recently fellowed neurologist, I'm currently undertaking a PhD at the Brain and Mind Centre in conjunction with RPA, Westmead and St Vincent Hospital in Sydney as well as Queen Square in London, UK. So I've recently had the great fortune of uh, undertaking the Anzan Overseas Fellowship at Queen Square. And through my work with Professor Mary Riley, as well as Michael on there, I've really developed a keen research interest in the paraprotein and amyloid associated neuropathies. So for those of you who are not medical amongst us, um, paraproteins are abnormal clonal fragments or complete antibodies, which can deposit in the nerves causing severe nerve dysfunction. And these can be seen in a variety of different uh, neurological and hematological conditions, such as lymphomas, leukemias, multiple myeloma, Wardenstrom's macroglobulinemia and monoclonal gammopathy of unknown uh, significance, otherwise known as MGUS. So similarly, amyloidosis is a process by which proteins can misfold, and they can deposit in the peripheral nerves or other organs. And there are both hereditary forms of this amyloidosis as well as acquired forms, which can be seen in these similar hematological blood cancers, as mentioned previously, or with chronic inflammatory conditions. So these abnormal proteins can really wreak havoc on their peripheral nervous system. And uh, people that are affected by these conditions can be affected by situations such as numbness, burning pain, weakness, wasting of the muscles, imbalance, as well as postural dizziness, gut and cardiac dysfunction. As a result, individuals can experience severe chronic pain, have markedly impaired quality of life, mobility limitations, and an inability to perform leisure, work, and day-to-day -day activities. Nerve manifestations can be the first presenting signs of these malignant underlying conditions. And as a result, investigations are really essential in order to find a precipitating cause. However, what we really find is that misdiagnosis and delays in diagnosis remain a really huge problem in this area. And it's a problem that we're trying to deal with in this study. The trouble that we find with these amyloid and paraproteinemic neuropathies is that they're extremely heterogeneous. Uh, in their presentations, and as a result, there are few agreed classifications uh, or criteria that are defined for their diagnosis. In turn, this compounds a difficulty that clinicians face when they're trying to make this diagnosis, and it really limits our ability to, to uh, undertake treatment trials in this group. With funding from this research gift, the first component of my study will be to address this issue by doing a comparative study to identify the specific and real distinguishing features, um, both from a clinical point of view and also from an investigative point of view of the neuropathies. And hence, this research will aim to improve the diagnostic algorithms and as a result, misdiagnosis, delays in diagnosis and accrue disability in this group. We also recognise now that Early diagnosis of these amyloid and paraproteinemic neuropathies is becoming increasingly important as we're developing new therapies such as antisense oligonucleotides and uh, RNA inhibitors, which can dramatically improve patient outcomes if individuals are treated early in the disease course. As a result, early diagnostic techniques and the definition of the best time to initiate that treatment is of utmost importance in this group. So in the second part of the study, we will be looking at evaluating the utility of electrophysiology, imaging, and biochemical techniques to identify early biomarkers of disease course, as well as uh, markers of disease progression. Thus, by identifying these early diagnostic markers and biomarkers to monitor progression, this research has the potential to significantly improve patient outcomes, as well as uh, to improve the quality of life of individuals with these neuropathies. So thank you again to the Brain Foundation. This gift is going to be really pivotal in allowing us to, and, my, uh, and my collaborators to perform this research. So thank you.